There you are, Missy. Get over here. Mr. Geddes, this is the new ranch hand I told you about. Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, it was nothing, sir. Mm. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, hmm. Milton. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. You and Mr. Dickens. Well, you work hard. You be honest, you'll get your keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. Oh, lucky man. Then you better work extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You hear that, John, Jim? Extra hard. Hey, hey, get over here. Mr. Dickens? Go find old Jim Milton here something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. Come on this way. I, I was on my chores anyhow. Say. Is that your family getting in the wagon up there? Ah, oh, believe it is. Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey, is it true what they said about you when you arrived? It, that you ran off those hired guns? Look, can we, uh, not discuss this in front of my wife? Oh, uh, no, sure. Yeah, of course, mister. I don't want to worry her. Oh, yeah. I hear that. Mrs. Milton! Jim Milton. How fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. This place is kind of... It's fine. But I hear you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. I gotta go. Jack, when you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand. I was going to milk the cows. Come on, I'll do it. You hey. are gonna milk the cows? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I, I thought you was, uh... I'm a ranch hand. A new one, at that. When you got here, them hired guns? I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Weren't nothing. Oh, it weren't nothing. It was about time someone stood up to them fellers. No. Where are you from, anyway, partner? Around, you know, up north, mostly. Been in these parts before, but that was years ago. Oh, <laughs> it's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything, the ranches. But, well, it ain't as wild as it once were, at least. There is that. Say, if it ain't too personal a question, are you a gunslinger, mister? <laughs> Good lord, no. Nothing like that. Now, just a ranch hand, then. Just a ranch hand. Failed at a bunch of things, like most men. <laughs> well, I feel a whole heap better having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Here's the cows. Yeah, we used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. And most of them drifted off. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. Could never, never really get the hang of it. You serious, mister? Sure. It's Jim. Jim Milton. Hey, sit down, I'll show you how. 
approach her calm now. She don't take too kindly to surprises. Okay. Almost got a pail full. Lancelot. Well, hey, Lancelot. Hey. We're gonna make a dairy maid of your paw yet. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, partner. We all That's gotta right, earn our Jill. keep. Come on. How about you and the boy uh, help me clean out the stables? Sure. Come on, son. you now, Lancelot? Twelve, sir. Ain't that grand. It's such a fine name. I like it. I got... I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> I can tell. Now, it ain't pleasant work, but it's gotta be done. Mr. Dickens said... I know what he said. We'll do it. Won't we, boy? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, you get them stalls cleaned out, and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay. Jack, let's just try and take some pride in this work, hard as it may be. Boy, bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it close to me. Yes, sir. You're a long way from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. Sorry, sir. Nothing. Thanks. Coming. This is dog's work. Oh, it splashes. And even your mother would say we're almost done here. You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Okay. Shoveling shit in pursuit of the better life you want? Same as I've been? Won't do him no harm. I know. Guess maybe we can last here. Survive. Do a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, well, you know. Me too. Put some coffee on. <laughs> Let's give you another go, girl.
Hey, Milton. Can you give me a hand with this fence? Sure. Know much about fence building? Not really. <laughs> can't build a fence, can't milk a cow, ain't used to shoveling shits, but took on a gang of robbers single-handed. Guess we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? I told you. Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. Well, sounds awful, but I guess I don't believe a word of it. I was raised to take a man at his word, and also to believe this is a free country. So free that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. <sighs> but I will work hard, and I learn fast. Okay. Give me a hand with this fence. Well, there's plenty more to do. Pound it in there. We don't want it coming down. Good. Now grab a rail, line it up with a notch, and place it in. Now, lift up the other side. They gotta line up, see? Now the next rail. You're doing all right. Fine. That's it. Well, that looks okay. Go to the next post and pound that in. I hope you've grasped the basics. I got other matters to attend to, but there's more than a day's work here for you. All right. So long. I'll be counting sections when you're done. Okay. down and get over here, boy. Quick as you can. Hurry. Hurry. Milton, get over here. Coming. Come on, give us a hand. Know much about bulls, Milton? Uh, just the basics. Don't make them mad. Angus Geddes, this is Jim Milton. Mr. Milton? Angus is your boss's son. Nice to meet you. Let's try and move this great hunk of Chuck. Come on! Move! Oh, shit! I'll get him! Get him up on him, you. And try and calm him down. I gotta build that! Bad ball! How am I going to calm 
this thing down. You don't look like you're gonna wind down. <laughs> but I'll try. Ease up. Whoa there. Whoa there. Easy. Easy. It ain't so bad. Nice and easy now, boy. There, there. There, there. Stop. All better? Okay. <laughs> now come on, you hunk of chuck. This way. Got him, Mr. Dickens. Oh, good. How you doing, son? A bit sore, but I'll be okay. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My pleasure. And you, mister? Fine. He just got my head. <laughs> good. There he is. See you later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet. I'm headed to work today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. I'm cleaning at the doctor's office. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Give the place a tidy. Okay, Pa. I'll see you later. Mr. Geddes. I said, Abe, yes, where are the other hands? Uh, I thought I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Geddes, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost, possibly more, a mare about to foal, sir, and no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest, Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe? Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. Come on, he's over here. I'm good. You get on. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. Since you showed up, runaway horse has been to some of our problems. And I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much. I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck. You... Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all, huh? Maybe I could have handled them. Of course you could. They're just loud mouths. <laughs> so, uh, is that what the boss was doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Well, when Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Oh. Uh, okay, then. All right. He'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get to. Thanks, kid. You Duncan? I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Hey. Need a hand with that horse? No. Well, <laughs> you sure about that? Okay, yes. Yes, I do. Pretty big one. <laughs> That's Jeremiah. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. Horn. Relax. Whoa, none of that. Come on. Easy, boy. Oh. Someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? Oh, calm down. He likes you. I ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? 
I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. I'm gonna take him out first. Burn some of this heat off of him. Okay. I'll wait in the corral. Okay. Let it all out of you. You got some energy? Show me this. Let's get a lather up. Ready for you. Okay. Get on up there and go nice and slow. <laughs> Stay calm. Me? A horse. You're calm. My heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. Not that I'm saying you need one, but... You sure there isn't another horse for you to ride around here? I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow him? Huh. Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All right. Thank you, son. Can I ask, are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich, way richer than Pa, and he's got all these hired guns out of Laramie, and if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll... Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but... but... Just worry about the horse, yeah? Yes, sir. I think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. You Mr. Milton? I thought you were gonna help me. I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Mom. <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my husband. Thanks, Jim. You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. <laughs> so... You know much about birthing a foal, Milton? Not too much. My God, where does my husband find men like you? Still, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. It's not too hard. You just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Go on. Whatever you say, ma'am. I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but 
I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Milton, feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. <laughs> I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh, you're married? I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah, we, we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm busy. Uh, too busy for social calls. Of course. Good day, Mr. Milton. Hey, John. Jim. <sighs> Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through. John. Us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on. Please. For me. For him. How's he been? And kind of withdrawn. Quiet. You know. Sure. Take him out, please. Come on, boy. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Round to the left. What do you see? The pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Pa, are you coming too? Ain't you taking Jack out? Let's go. How you doing? Fine. Can we go home? No. You're... Stay calm. Where would you like to go riding, aside from home? I don't know. But maybe that stream? Good idea. Now you know all this. Get him going. Come on. You know. The horse can feel your fear. Just act... Confident, okay? Uh-huh. Confident. Yep. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. There you are. Now let's go. Jack, a little kick and a... Speed it up again. Okay. Come on. See, you can do it. Now how about you speed up a mic? Okay. Whoa. bad, sir. Good. Amazing what the right horse and a little confidence can do. Whoa! How do 
how I look. Better than before. Keep at it. I'm getting there. I should hope so. Okay. Let's go across to the stream. Yes, sir. back you think you're ready for a little race I guess all right we go back to the path and up to the ranch okay on my go go Son. I beat you. Like I said, you're riding. It's gotten so much better. Thanks. Hey, keep practicing your riding. You too. You need it. on his property? <laughs> you want to watch your mouth, boy. You will be the first one we kill. Leave him alone. <laughs> oh, careful, boys. Careful. Yeah. Look at this tough guy. Get out of here. How oh, fancy pants get is paying you to be tough for him, huh? <laughs> no, he's paying me to keep the place clean. Oh. Said he had some problems with with vermin. Oh, listen to this. Real funny. <laughs> no! Oh, come on, get him. Come on, get him. I'll kick his head in, boss. <laughs> Oh, you can fight, boy. I'll give you that. Well, how's your wife in the brawl? Leave my wife alone. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here. Oh, quite a temper you got. 
<laughs> Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life, married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> What'd you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Jim Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. And you, boy, tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Milton. Thank you. Don't worry about it. Stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will ya? What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. Plenty. We all get caught eventually, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. Now, dear, I, I won't hear any more of it. You won't hear any of it. Not in front of the men. You toad. All right, smile, smile. Do not embarrass me. Mr. Geddes? Hey, I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. Yeah, I know you will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> Yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> How'd you get on? Okay, I guess. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. I know. Anybody want some more? Mm. Uh, no, no, I'm thank good. You. I miss Mr. Pearson. John Marston, you're such a pig. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's getting late. Let's get some rest. Good night, Jack. Good night, Mama. Good night, Jack. Good night, Pa. What the hell was that? What are you, what are you doing? My job, Abigail. Lock this door behind me. Don't open it unless you know it's me. Jim, you gotta do something. Two of them by the stall. They got Tom. It's over. Who's this? A new hand. Watch it burn. Crap. You know, ah. They've killed Mr. Tobert, and they've stolen my goddamn cattle. You men okay? I think so. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks he can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle back, I guess sir. we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim. I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your 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 name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. Come in, it's me. What was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. God, I'm sorry to hear that. What are you doing in that thing? Mr. Getty's been real good to us. We... I... What are you doing? My job, Abigail. My goddamn job. I'll lead the way. This is gonna be the last we hear out of them. Yeah! Yeah! Right!
your horses here. We'll be better on foot. Okay. If you say so. That's the place up ahead. There's our cows. A couple guards out front. A couple more around the side, I imagine. Let's get a closer look. Let's go. Yeah, there's plenty of guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep, Tom. You head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe, you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. Hey! Hey! You boys been coming up to Pronghorn? I thought I'd come down here. You're all so tough! Come have a word with me! You here to cut a deal? You're too late, partner. I'm here for our cattle. And to teach some manners to all of you. I'm trying to... Yes, we're shooting it! That woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. She's got to make do with some piss poor stinking farmhand. Hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my sheets. As long as she bathes first in sheep dip, get the stink of you off of her, farmhand!
Mr. Milton, this man can really fight. Save the whole place. Ah, <laughs> that weren't nothing. Well, you, oh, you, <laughs> you saved my life. No need to say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. Whew. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight, but how about Abe? Just in case you stay up. Yep. You see anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle three times. Three times. We'll all come running. We'll do. Uh, well said, and thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be of service, sir. Uh, I understand. You get some rest. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. What? What? What choice did I have? Just answer me that. What was I supposed to do? Look, just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. getting on surviving I think here I'll get you some coffee only thing I know how to do is well you know undertakers like me cattle not so much that ain't true I ain't no rancher rustled horses not raised them stole cattle not birthed them I was I was reading the newspaper I was reading about a old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Was you? Well, Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know all about that. Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been, it's been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom. You act like the big man with the gun. I'm tired, John, and I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. Just feels hopeless. You're, you're doing better. Milton. Milton, ma'am. Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lance a lot. Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered. I think it's in your name? My name. I think so. One's in your name, and the other one's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes. A real keen purchaser of goods, me. Look at me. <laughs> Okay, Lancelot. We'll make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mine. He's only a boy. I'm just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the 
Real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on, get! You take care now. Of course. It's nice getting out of the house, huh? I like being in the house, Pa. Oh, it's real bumpy here. I think just about doing things you like, boy. What happened the other night? With those men, did you kill them? I did what I had to do. To protect you. Ma said it was pride or something? Your Ma was wrong about that. Here. Want to take the reins a little? I, I don't know, Pa. <laughs> it's easy, boy. Don't be scared. Well, uh... W what do I do? Well, just hold them and pull them short to slow down. Tell them to go faster, give them a little switch, and then pull to one side if you want to turn. Here, try it out. Enough? For now. That kid's strawberry, that eh, kid? Looks like. You know, I think this is the longest I've seen you without a book in your hand. It was foolish to forget mine, sir. Look, I got some business to attend to with the clerk. I'll leave you with the wagon. Can I trust you not to drive off with it? Oh, I think I can be trusted of that. Very good. Here we are. You all right, son? Sure. Well, cheer up a little. You wait here. I won't be long. Okay. And if you behave, I might let you drive us home. Can't wait. Hi. I'm here to... Name? My name? Uh, Jim? Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. <laughs> nope. Nothing here. Uh, maybe try Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay. John Marston. Marston. Nope. Nothing here for that name either. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Hmm. Yes, here we are. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. <sighs> and I will help you out. Hmm. I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. Here, let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Uh, it's, uh, mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. Okay, let's get out of here. Everything okay, Pa? Sure. I hope so, at least. Here, you take the reins a little. I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. Okay, Pa. Yeah. We're going back to Pronghorn, okay? So, wait. We've come all the way out here, and we're just gonna turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out, uh, I missed the seclusion of the ranch more than I figured for. 
don't you want to go to the store or the saloon or anywhere? We're going back. Okay, boy? But I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But nothing. Keep on driving and watch the road. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jesus. Find your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better. Yeah. Look, if I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, you slow down, okay? Uh, sure. All right, speed up. Let's get away from there. Okay. Hiya! <laughs> Who's this? Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No. No, keep driving. What's wrong, Paul? Nothing. Driving across here. It's the same as any other road. Look where you want to go, and the horse will follow. Okay. Yeah. I think the horse is getting skittish. It'll be all right. Huh? What? Nothing. Just keep driving. Don't look around. Oh, Pog, hey. those men, are they following us? Just, just stay calm. See that fallen tree? When we get there, stop the wagon, jump down, and hide. Oh, Pa. You need to do exactly as I say, boy. Here, now! Uh, come on, quick, now! Okay, son, you wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, gentlemen. Let's see what you come calling about. We boys want with us. Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Marson? You sure look like him. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just... Here with my son. Did you kill a fella out in Roanoke a few months back? No. Wasn't me. That was my brother. I'm real sorry, friend, but he was trying to rob. You're talking bullshit, mister. Kill him. It's okay. You're okay. What? Why? What? It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Keep them eyes closed. Let's go. Come on, get up! Oh dear, those men! I told you not to look, boy. Are they dead? I didn't have much of a choice. You saw that. Now, compose yourself. You killed them, Paul! Son, I need you to hold it together. <sighs> 
real brave back there. Real brave. Did exactly like I said. Really? Uh huh. If you hadn't listened, things could have gone real wrong for us. Some old ranch. You read to her about it, didn't you? Mm-hmm. What was it called? Mm-hmm. Well, what was the name, boy? Peacher's Hole. That's right. Peacher's Hole. Over by Blackwater. You like the idea of that, huh? Us own the ranch? I don't know. I can see you as a rancher's boy. Like Duncan and Gettys, huh? I wasn't so sure, but... Yeah. That kind of life might suit us. Wouldn't be such a chore if the horses we were cleaning up after was ours, would it? <laughs> no, it wouldn't. Mm. Okay, here we are. That was an uh, eventful trip. Say hi to your mother. How was the... What happened? Yeah. It's... I don't... We got shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed, and then... We... Followed by who? Probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son. I... It was your dress that caused all the problem. It weren't even a dress. It was a gift for you. Mr. Jim? Mr. Jim? Hey. Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there, in, near the house. There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. What do you think he wants? I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. That's him. I see him. Thanks, Abe. Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes. Here. Sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. I'm there most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. Abigail. Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I have begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. 
and I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. That's her fool. Hey, you know, I was wrong about you. you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. Means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak, at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Is your father in? Could I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pa! Hey, I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? I'm sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. Hmm. Experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, 
My wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well, besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. Here's my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. You'll get her back.
Dusty trail, saw a vapor light. Was it a mirage? I don't know, but it seemed right. I felt mission, I felt trust. I knew then that I must go to her from this cruel world.
Can you spare a coin for a miserable waste like me? <coughs> Don't have to be mine. Just enough to keep me breathing. Huh? Oh, please. Huh? Oh. Go get a hot meal, all right? Yeah, this is for you. Too kind, fella. I used to be a man once. You know, a wife, career. Now look at me. Worse than nothing. A filthy, worthless joke. <laughs> Pitiful. All right, girl. We are surely blessed. Hello. Looking for a trim? Excuse me, sir. Can I can I help you? Well, hello. Please yeah. come in. I'm looking for Mr. Atherton. I'm a friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. Thank you. Yeah. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit. So I can buy some property? What property? An old ranch? Beecher's Hope? <laughs> that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr... M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. 
Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork. Let's go, girl. Is not old crazy man Cassidy. Help a blind man. Okay, here you are. I see sand and ocean and palm trees. Find the black flower and you will be rewarded. Well, okay then. Come on, lady. I have nothing more for you now. Go use what you know. I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid... I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. <coughs> Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy dang city boy says he owns this land. Or he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay, and how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Get the hell out of here! This land belongs to me now! Ain't nothing on this earth belongs to no one, partner. Looks like you made your decision then, partner! you, the man with two names and no past. Come on in. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, 
sign here and here. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations. You are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm joking. They own me. They just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> Just joking. Well, it is you. Well, I never. I, I thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. <laughs> no, you don't have to. No, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a slow and painful death, my brother. Evidently. Oh, have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> Speaking in monosyllables don't make you seem interesting. It makes you seem stupid. I don't care how I seem. Well, now, where west are we headed, you damn grunting fool? This ranch, I... A ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? Oh, I want a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but... I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. She's, uh... Her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but, you know, this makes me think maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place, and you're lucky I'm showing it to you and not looking for a place to bury you out here. Think. Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we gonna farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the till. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No. You're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so... 
You think I'm an idiot? No. I know you're an idiot. 